<laughs> oh my gosh. I'm, I'm shaking. If I lose this, I'll actually cry. No, but like, I don't mean to shake this much, but like, it actually feels so heavy. Stop, kitty shaking. We would your hand. I know, it's probably gonna be tiny. Oh my gosh, it's I don't mean to shake. No, no, no. Oh my gosh. Like, this feels really good, Rod. <laughs> Okay, so we've only, we've only been out of for about 10 minutes. I don't know why and, I'm shaking so much, this is bad. And we were kind of skeptical by the, where we're fishing at, because it's too deep. And then you got a really big bite. Do you have a luno? <laughs> that looks really- I, I don't even mean to shake so much, like, I don't, like, It has to be a Fraser Valley. Yeah, it must be. A spawner? Well, we'll find out. Come on. I think we'll find out. <gasps> yes, Rod, look at it. Look, look, look. Look, it's clean. It, yeah. Look at it. Rod, get the net. Don't even film. Don't even film. Don't even film. Don't oh. even film. What are you like? Is it? It's not big. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Just keep it. Yeah. Look at the tail wrist. I was shaking for a reason. I'm still shaking. It was it was just so hunkered? Like, <laughs> okay. I, I thought it was a snag. Like, I thought my chronomid had drifted and hit like a log or something. And then my I pulled my line a little and my indicator went down. How do you have all the luck? <laughs> I don't have all the That's luck. That's true, yeah. The last few lake last trips. last few you... lake trips I've been working up yeah. for this. This is such a nice fish. That's a beauty. Oh my gosh, guys. This is going to be an unreal day. Unreal. I hope so. It's not, hopefully, hopefully it's not one and done. <laughs> yeah. It's nice to come to a new lake and uh... Yeah, well that's what we were... So before we came out today, one thing that I asked Rod, I said, Rod, okay, we could go to Kamloops. We've already filmed three different projects at this one particular lake. And I said, are you after big fish at a lake that we know? Or, or are you after the adventure, the unknown and finding fish? Good call, Rod. Yeah. Only uh, just at 23, 23 almost yeah. 23. Yeah. So when we, when Rod netted the fish, he was very, adamant about bringing it right into the boat right away and I said no 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 just let me get the chronomid out first and so that's what happens when the chronomid falls out before and the fish is flopping around in the net. Oh this is my fault. Yeah exactly that's <laughs> what I'm saying. Fish number two, while well, I'm trying to get everything ready. And... <laughs> Watch your anchor over there.
Oh, it's gonna be bad. Right, get the net. That's gonna be the saying this, this episode, get the net. Get the net. I can't see it. Watch my light, watch my light. Yeah, beauty. Look at the little tail rays on it, okay? Yeah. Good job. <sighs> Ooh. Oh. Watch your butt on the screen. So you thought that was that one was small, eh? Well, it came up to the top right away. <laughs> no, it's like that's pretty nice. It's it's good condition fish. Well, three fish for kitty, and then just when we think it's gonna be a great day, we got a big rainstorm coming through right now. <laughs> So since the fish are not really biting, for, for me anyways, I'm gonna play chef here. I'm gonna cook some dumplings up, have some warm lunch. Oh, be generous. The whole bag. <laughs> whole bag. is talking to me so loudly. Mm. Catching big fish and eating dumplings. Mm -mm -mm. Can't go wrong. <laughs> so that was very satisfying. It's amazing how much difference it makes when you have a bit of warm food on the boat. Oh yeah. <clears throat> because it was getting pretty cold and now it's kind of, the storms moved through and it's clearing up a little bit. We're just hoping that the bites will come back home. That's not a bad fish. Oh, it's beauty. Can't complain about that. Okay, we're getting ready to move. Um, but then she got a fish. And we just pumped the fish and it's, I guess they've been eating what we're eating. <laughs> they're chromies, hey? Yeah. Look how freaking chrome they are. Yeah, they're all pretty good fighters. 
Now there's a small crazy valley. Very bright. Yeah, so three, four o'clock in the afternoon now, and you know the, the hatches have stopped for quite a while now. So I'm not really expecting good fishing anymore. So still getting the odd nice fish. This one. Yeah. Looks well, pretty hefty. They're all nice. Can't complain. Oh no! Oh, oh well. Pretty well fit. Oh, look at that! Eh? It just look how many there. Oh, <laughs> they're still alive. Some of them. Oh. Wow. I guess the pattern's black. Yeah, that's why, um, <laughs> that's how they get so fat. I have been bugging Rodney for years now to set up a time to go fishing with Nick Bassick. And Nick Bassick is, is known in the lower mainland for being the, the master at freshwater fishing lakes and rivers. So when Rod said that Nick would be able to go out with us, I was really excited. So once we arrived at the lake, Rod has fished with him numerous times and he knows his truck, his boat. And so he's out there looking, we're, we're driving around the perimeter. And he says to me, he's like, Kitty, I don't think he's here. And I'm thinking, oh my gosh, like, frick, we're going to a new lake, a bigger lake. The weather might not pan out and we have no Nick. <laughs> and um, we both were questioning, should we do it? Should we not? Like, where should we go? Should we stay? And Rod was the one really who decided to stay here and just to, to try it. And yeah, we had no expectations. We didn't know what was going to happen, if it was going to produce fish or not. And right away we got into a few and then you got into some at the end. So, you know, it's sometimes you just lack confidence as an angler. Exactly, I do that yeah. often. And, you know, you rely on people that have more experience to kind of walk you along, but we did not need someone to, to hand feed us today. And you know what, when, you, when you catch fish without being having any guidance, it does feel a little more satisfying too, doesn't it? Oh, it's, well, we, we still had some guidance. Like my husband and I have fished here before. And so he recommended some of the chronomid patterns that he's had success um, with for these fish. Um, but you found some on your own too. Yeah, yeah totally. Yeah. So good job. Good job today. Oh. <laughs> uh, no. Second try. Okay, so we're gonna pack it up now. It's about four o'clock in the afternoon. The bites, we're still getting the old ones, but really it has slowed down. Uh, we kept a couple fish, and tomorrow we're gonna cook those up. And we're gonna experiment with a few different recipes and see which ones will taste the best. Yeah, I can't wait for the recipes that we uh, put together. I know one of them. Yeah, stay tuned. As you saw, we brought home several fish to cook up today. And uh, we've never really tried rainbow trout in the past. And um, we've tried salmon, halibut, lingcod. So I'm kind of curious how good exactly rainbow trout from interior BC lakes are. Uh, rather than cooking up just one uh, recipe for the entire fish, we're gonna cook up several different recipes and compare each one and see which one works best for the trout. Uh, so I've already cut up several ingredients. I got the fish cut up as well laid out and we're just gonna mix them together and chuck them in the oven. I'm excited. Are you excited? I am very excited, yes. Okay. recipes prepared that will go into the oven. Uh, the, for the very first one, it's a classic salt and pepper, lemon and butter uh, just sprinkle over the trout. 
I think most of you have tried that recipe. And the second one, uh, which uh, we all have tried that before with salmon, which is a combination of mayo, dill, and uh, brown sugar. So hopefully that will taste pretty good on the trout. The third one is a pretty unique one that we just start trying out on, a, um, on halibut. You can check that out on Kitty's channel. And uh, it's a combination of soy sauce, butter, uh, garlic, uh, lemon, trying to remember, and spruce tip syrup which is uh, something we've harvested and actually made syrup uh, from, I guess, the raw ingredients. So I'm pretty excited to try that one. It's gonna taste a little sweet, a little lemony, right? Yeah, so we got some lemon in there. That's what I forgot. So anyways, so the last one, uh, since we have so many ingredients, we decided to mix everything together. We got salt, pepper, parsley, garlic, ginger, and shallots. And um, we don't know how that's gonna taste, and once it comes out from the oven, we'll let you know. So these will go into the oven at 400 degrees Fahrenheit for 15 minutes and we'll broil them for a little bit near the end so they'll be a little crispy. And uh, lastly, we've got two uh, slices on the side that will go on the frying pan as well and we'll season them, we'll put them, we'll fry them on butter. Five different ways of preparing trout. Stay tuned. Good enough. It still looks and smells amazing. Mm -hmm. so. Ooh, just. No. Okay. I can't feel it. Oh, shit. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Nina's gonna kill you. Kids are gonna wake up. <laughs> it's nine past nine thirty at night. Okay. Okay, we'll go with it. <laughs> Which one are you gonna try first? And maybe you should try um like the one, one first? The, yeah, the, the one that you think you would like the least to the best one. I don't know. It's not bad. It's just kind of plain. Yeah, it's all plain, but it's not. Maybe it's the, the piece of the fish is thicker. Mm -hmm. It's better than I thought. Um, yeah, okay. Next. Like it's it's just, um, I think what it's lacking is, I, I do like the shallots on it. Whenever yeah. I bite into a piece of like the, the shallots, it's like, ooh, that tastes really nice. Mm -hmm. um, it's, is that all fat there? The ginger actually gave it a little kick to it. I mean, I think this one is the one I'm gonna like the least, so I'm gonna go for it. I think I ate a bone. I think I swallowed a bone. No water. <laughs> really? Mm-hmm. Okay, oh, it's some water. Oh my gosh, it's like stuck in my throat. I can feel it poking me. One sec. Okay. Okay, uh, this time I want a piece of the thinner part. Oh, okay, you want the stomach. I, see, I wonder if I would have liked the first one better mm -hmm. because I would have eaten part of the belly. Mm -hmm. Whereas I feel like the thicker piece just didn't get the flavor yeah. that the belly probably would have absorbed. But this one, I actually don't mind. Really? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I like this one quite a bit. And maybe it's because, again, we're at like, the part of eating. That's probably it, yeah. Because I, I, I didn't like that one that much. It was a little too, yeah. little too um, not very flavorful. and. No, this one I could taste more of the lemon and the hmm. butter, so I liked it better. Okay. Whereas this one I felt like it was lacking. Want to try the pan fry one? Sure. And this okay. is, whose recipe? So this is Nick, Nick Basshook um, sent the recipe to me. He actually sent me the photo of him cooking it, and then I, was, I got curious, I'm like, what do you put on it? So, pan fry with butter, um, seasoned with lemon, salt, pepper, and uh, sprinkled with parsley. 
and there's onions and stuff in there. It's getting better. Yeah? From like one, mm -hmm. two, three, like it's just getting mm. better. Yeah. And I did like the, the like the tail piece. Yeah. Mmm. It's nice to have a little bit of a char, I guess char taste to it. Right? Let me try some of the skin. Usually I don't eat fish skin. No? Like I love just... chicken skin, but fish skin? Yeah. I like it. I think it's just I think of the scales and that kind of freaks mm -hmm. me out. The trout and salmon scale is so small that you can well, look. eat it. Yeah, it's nice. Okay, so here we have the... This is your favorite way, one of your favorite ways, eating salmon. Mm -hmm. With um, mayonnaise, dill, and brown sugar. So here we go. So <laughs> It looks good. I like, I like how it looks though. Go for it. Oh, you want me to go for it? It is good. Yeah. But I want more sauce. More brown sugar or more? I think, I feel like there's enough mayonnaise on it. But I want more brown sugar. More brown sugar, yeah. Because usually the, um, like, see the, the darker spots with the brown mm -hmm. or yep. the edges? Mm -hmm. Like, the sauce is pretty brown. Yeah. Um, but I want more sauce. Mm -hmm. Like, usually we have it, like, just in a puddle. So mm -hmm. it's like soaking it up. That's. <laughs> <laughs> So this keeps the fish very moist. Mm -hmm. That's one thing I noticed. You open this up, it's very... Well, look how it's flaking and it's... Yeah, yeah. yeah. compared to the other ones. The other one's kind of dry, so... I'm kind of getting full. I took a really big piece of that. <laughs> look at mine. Okay, so this is the um, soy sauce, spruce tip syrup, um, garlic, lemon... There's pepper. <laughs> Right? So it makes up the sauce first. Mm. Your, I wasn't listening. Sorry. You have your butter. You yep. melt your butter. Oh, butter too, yeah. Melt your butter, soy sauce, uh, pepper. Mm -hmm. Butter, soy sauce, pepper, lemon, the syrup, mm -hmm. and garlic. Yeah. Perfect. Go for it. <laughs> you still Me? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, I'm definitely digging in. It's surprisingly moist. Yep, it's very moist. Um, I don't want to say that word anymore. We gotta change it. I was trying to think of another one. Well, the, the flavor needs to be worked on. I think I think for this one, what I like to do next time is actually marinate um, the fish in that sauce overnight and then cook it. I think that's what, what I'll do next time. Uh -huh. Yeah. Because so I feel like knowing that the, the flavor gets into the fish. Um, because well, you should do it for all of them. Because the um, the sauce is so thick, it's 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 harder for it to get in there right, right away. You can you can do these trips. There these lakes are fairly close by in our province, mm -hmm. and there's not just one to pick from. There's so many that you can go to um, and have fun fishing for the day. And then also the benefits of, they have lots of great fish that you can take home to eat. Um, we kept two two rainbow trout, I think a blackwater and a Fraser Valley, and both. Uh, both were yeah pretty good eating and we got to try different ways of dressing your rainbow trout. Yep. But yep. Yeah, it's like it's it's just interesting to sit and try all these recipes at once because it's nice. I think um, I like the idea how you cut a bunch of pieces from one fish because <laughs> usually I just put all of this on one rainbow trout and it's kind of like you know you just get tired of it. So this is a nice way you can just have a little bit of this and that one. And Yep. See what you like. Yep. Well, there you go. So this is, a, you know, these fishing options are, you know, readily available. All you need to get is a freshwater fishing license in BC, and uh, there are hundreds of lakes you can choose. As you can see, go out and lots of trout to catch. Whatever fish you take home, make sure that you eat all of it. Do not waste any. It's actually unlawful to waste any fish. Yeah. This will be eaten by tomorrow. Believe me. Really? I'll, I'll eat it. Yeah. So for more information, uh, you can check out my website at fishingwithart.com, uh, subscribe to our YouTube channels, um, make sure you head over to Kitty's channel to look at some of the foraging videos and cooking recipes as well. And um, for more information on freshwater fishing in British Columbia, uh, check out gofishbc.com. Um, there you can find out uh, where the fish are stocked, where you can get a freshwater fishing license, and um, all about these rainbow trout, brook trout that they release into the lakes as well. So, when's our next trip? <laughs> <laughs>
two, two days from now. Two days yeah. from now, yeah. yeah. Okay. We'll, we'll get more. Yep. Yeah. So, Try new recipes. That's right. Until next time. Good luck fishing. Mm-hmm.